All right, guys, this is open. Are you ready for this? This, this is going to surprise you guys so much because this is not me at all. This is not me at all, but I'm going to explain it. You ready? You ready? You ready? What's going on, guys? Welcome to another vlog. Today is the day, guys. So let me explain what's going on. So today we're actually going out of town and we're going to be going to Lake Chickamauga. So I just got out of class. I believe what? What time is it? I have no idea what time it is. I'm actually recording on my phone. I'm not using my vlog camera. I've been recording on my phone recently because it's very, very easy just to pull out my phone and record. It's easier than whipping out the vlog camera and everything. So today I was actually in class and my class, I had to do a lot of homework. If you guys haven't watched the last vlog, you guys need to go watch the last vlog that was uploaded Thursday, Thursday, which is today, but you guys are watching this probably Sunday. The, the vlogs are all crazy guys so if you guys haven't watched that vlog be sure to go check it out i was grinding all day literally all day so i woke up at five and i ran all these errands i was grinding hard guys i was getting everything done for this trip and i actually didn't end up going to bed till i would say about roughly 4 45 so i was literally that, that is the definition of a grind right there guys when you go from the hour like that hour to that hour hour the exact hour that that's called grinding guys 24 hour grind is what i did got a lot of stuff done i've had like three neighbors four neighbors look at me right now while i'm talking to the camera so i'm just like you know what i'm not gonna sit there and feel super awkward while holding my phone out. especially one of my one of my neighbors that's a cop he's just looking at me like what's this kid doing he's holding up a phone like what's he doing he's doing something sketchy but guys I, I went to class today and went better than expected i hate this class listen i hate this class if my teacher's watching that's gonna be hilarious but i hate this class i've been putting some time in this class for real and we're doing like an ad an ad script over duke's mayonnaise so it's like the whole thing where it's southern it's like a southern mayonnaise brand like the southern vibe to it so we had to act out today or people had to present their scripts we had to act out and i literally there's like four guys in my class and when people would go up and read their scripts, they would call out, I mean, there was most likely a dude in their script, and every single time, literally, people would call me. So I literally had to act out like 25 times today, you know, acting all Southern, and in the, in the whole scripts, it was just all crazy, guys. But we're gonna get on with today. We're gonna be vlogging this whole trip all the way to Lake Chickamauga. We're probably gonna get there pretty late, but I have a lot of packing to do. I have to pack up. I did laundry last night, I have to pack up. I have to clean out my truck, the inside. If you guys watched the last vlog, we cleaned the outside. Gotta clean the inside today and uh, get a few more things done, but let's go ahead and hop into it. Holy smokes, guys, look at this right here. Oh, man. I'm, I'm gonna show you what's in this box. All right, let's open this real quick, guys. If you guys are wondering why I'm doing this on the floor, it's because there's stuff all over my table and I gotta clean before I leave. So I, I, I'm gonna do this right here. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Let's see. Ooh. Come on. Come on now. All right, I'll, I'll get back to you. All right, guys, this is open. Are you ready for this? This, this is going to surprise you guys so much because this is not me at all. This is not me at all, but I'm going to explain it. You ready? You ready? You ready? All right, look at that now. I only got three baits in here. I got a six-inch mag draft swim bait. I got two eight-inches. Guys, these things are sick. I was looking them up online. This is like so not me too. I don't throw big swim baits often. So this is like something definitely new for me, but Jesus guys, I, I let me explain why I'm doing this. So guys, let me debrief on why I actually bought these. So I got two eight inches and a six inch mag draft swim bait by Mega Bass. Look at that bad boy. Ooh, it's, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a crazy looking bait guys. If you guys don't know anything about these, it actually has a magnet to hold the treble right there on if you guys can see you can see the mag magnets in there it's a kind of translucent whitish color guys this bait right here i'm gonna be throwing this a lot this weekend let me explain why so pretty much i have i haven't qualified for flw national championship i we came ounces short in the last event which really sucks but honestly i'm not too hurt about it how i pretty much see this is i'm going for broke chickamauga has some big fish guys i mean monster fish and I know that there's so many fish out there that are going to choke this thing. I know there's so many fish that can eat that. Am I going to solely throw that thing 100% of the time? No, I'm going to switch up. But I am going to throw that majority of the time because how I see it is I don't want to just, you know, try to get by. I don't want to just try to get by and qualify. Like if I'm going to do it, I want to try to win the tournament and qualify or at least get a top three finish. And that's what I'm going to go do this weekend. And Chickamauga, this is a, it's a lake where there's so many big fish. It, it can be anyone's game. Like Bryan College, they live out there. 
There's some sticks on that team. I'm sure they're going to catch them really good. Um, it's going to be hard to beat them out there. But then again, when these fish are pushed up shallow like that, it's going to – I mean, there's going to be some that – I've already pushed out onto those ledges. I know that sounds crazy. There's going to be some that I've already pushed out. But for the m most part, there's going to be some big fish up shallow. And it can be anyone's game at that point. You know, anyone can pull up and catch a 10-pounder. It can happen. So I want to be throwing this bad boy. And uh, I'm excited for it. I actually had to overnight ship these because I was looking at my – or I don't have my swim bait box. I asked my dad to send me a picture because I have my swim bait box back home. Some of the ones in there I might try to throw, but I was looking up a lot of stuff on big swim baits and supposedly this is the juice. So guys, here you got the swim bait right here. Look how juicy that thing looks. That is a good looking swim bait. That color and everything, you got the translucent, you got that bluish white back on it, kind of gray as well. And you got that hook right here. So I want to show you like what you can do with this thing. So as you can tell, there's magnets in there. So it just, it holds it slightly like that or you can also put that hook up in that bait like that. That's probably how I'll be throwing it. It's more of a weedless approach. And you got that like that, especially if you're going to be trying to skip this. I know that sounds crazy. But if you're trying to skip this big swim bait, it's going to be better if the hook's up in there like that rather than the magnet holding it down. Because if you slightly hit the water, I mean, I'm sure they really thought this through with the magnet. But then again, I mean, I'm sure it's going to come off a lot of the time when you're, when you're throwing out there. But look at that sexy thing right there. Loading up everything in the car right now, guys. I got people calling me like crazy, but I have to get all this done. So about to hook up to the boat, loading everything up right now. And then I'm going to be on my way to boat storage to meet the whole crew. All right, guys, I actually just got the boat all packed up in the back. We got everything, guys. We're, we're ready to hit the road. So now I just got to meet at boat storage and um, we're all going to start traveling. So it's almost it's 4 35 right now i should be at boat storage in about 15 minutes and uh yeah that is what we're gonna do guys we're gonna have to it's gonna be a long drive I, I just don't know how long it's gonna take us i mean we need to get on the road and go i mean no messing around maybe stop and eat once if that just grab snacks and uh gas up but rather than that we just we just got to get this done but I'll catch you guys at boat storage. We made our first stop at the gas station. We got the rig right here. We got about three hours and 50 minutes left before we were before we were at Lake Chickamauga. Super pumped. I almost threw my frog in that puddle right there because I know there's a big one in there. I'm ready. I'm ready to be there. I'm tired, exhausted, ready to shut down this night, get after it tomorrow, and go kill it because we're going to be grinding. We got one day of practice, and we're going to make it happen. To win 500, 500 grand. They catch four pound on a square boat to protect here. You what? I caught a four on this. Yo, what's going on, people? I've not been vlogging because this trip is crazy. Honestly, it's it's good vlog content, but I'm to the point now. I just want to be there. It's already 12:30. We're probably not gonna show up till like 3:30 and get about an hour's worth of sleep and then go out on the water because. I'm gonna get out there bright and early because I only have a day of practice, so we're gonna make that happen. We've literally had a truck breakdown, sending people out to auto parts stores, all the way to car batteries dying, all the way to getting more chicken sandwiches, <laughs> all the way to getting more gas. It, this trip has been crazy. All the way to driving 40 miles an hour right now because we're trying to get everyone to catch up. And just once everyone catches up, booking it all the way we're, we're just gonna book it there because this has been a crazy trip guys this, this has been one for the books yeah this is but yeah it's, it's it's been a it's been it's been a trip it, it's been crazy so i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit i'm i'm just need i just need to start vlogging the whole thing to be honest with you because you guys would get a lot of entertainment of what's been going down but i'm running on a few hours of sleep and i'm going to be running on an hour of sleep tonight and then we got the tournament so it should be good Let's get it. All right, guys, 419 right now. Just finally got to the hotel. It's, golly, the past couple of days have been crazy, guys. But I'll show you guys where the boat's all positioned here. That's what we're working with right here. Got the boat. 
As you can tell, a lot of people are already here. So we just plug this bad boy up, grabbing the rods, grabbing all our tackle out. And then we're hitting the sack for about an hour. I was in and off the night right there. It's like 4.30 right now. I'm gonna go hop in the bed, wake up in about an hour, a little over an hour. It's gonna be crazy, guys. It's gonna be grinding all day tomorrow, all the way till dark. I wanna try to get everything done um, with the rods and everything. And hit the sack tomorrow, because I do need some sleep. This is this means I'm pretty much getting four hours of sleep in the past 72 hours, which is rough. So I want to close it up for the, tonight, guys. Be sure to drop a big like on these videos if you want to see more vlogs. Be sure to comment below and also subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell. Thank you guys so much for the support. Catch you guys in the next video. What's up? What's the in the dark, in the blessings, yeah, yeah. But the drop, in the fish, in the mud, in the mud, in the jar, I'm in the jar.